Hello and welcome to this presentation on 3D printing. For my presentation, I am going to look into what 3D printing is, how does it work, what are the benefits to us, what are the disadvantages to us, and finally, what the future holds for 3D printing. What I'm going to look at is the history of 3D printing, how the concept works, the benefits of it, the limitations of 3D printing, the implementation in the world today, how exactly 3D printing is integrated into society. And then finally, we're going to look at the future of 3D, 3D printing and the scope and potential for the technology. First, we're going to look at the history or background of it. The basic idea of 3D printing was conceived by the author Arthur C. Clarke, the writer most famous for 2001 A Space Odyssey, in 1964. In 1984, Bill Masters patented the first idea for 3D printing. He went on to secure further two more pat patents for 3D printing that are currently used today. In 1987, the first 3D printer was released by Chuck Hall Industries. Then towards the end of the 2000s decade saw the recognition of 3D printing as an industrial manufacturing technology. Also then, in 2009, towards the end of the decade, the patent expired on FD FDM. Through this, low-cost printers became more regularly available. Once, ones that cost over $20,000 to secure now could be purchased for as little as $1,000. There are numerous techniques for 3D printing. There is the stereolithography, selective laser sintering. But what we're going to look at today is fused deposition modeling, or FDM for short. This is the most popular option in the world today and used by millions of hobbyists around the world. To describe it, 3D printing is also known as additive manufacturing, adding layer upon layer until the object is complete. There is the option for various metals, materials with metals, ceramics and even wood being used to create objects. Plastic, however, is by far the most deployable. And once the object is printed, some find it perfect the way it is, while others add to it. Like on the left, some might colour the rabbit with paint. FTM works as the following. Using a continuous filament of thermoplastic material, i.e. material that melts and moldable at a certain temperature and then returns to a solid form, the filament is fed from a coil through a moving heated printer extruder head and deposited on the work. The printer head is under the control of the computer to define the shape of the object. This is all rather informative and heavy information-wise, so we should look at a little video. Here we can see the filament being fed into the printer from a coil. Now this object took approximately about 11 hours to complete. The body and the head were done separately. Obviously this is a time-lapse video, so we're not going to be sat here for 11 hours. There the printer is placing
the printer is placing layer upon layer of this element to create the object. As mentioned, the head is created separately and then joined. And there is a properly created baby group. Next, what we're going to do is have a critical review of 3D printing, starting with the benefits or advantages of it. Low startup costs. It is a cost-effective technology. Labor is the largest source of expenditure for large manufacturing in the world today. The introduction of 3D printing could significantly reduce this overhead. The technology works off the CAD and requires very little manual input. There is no need for specialized tooling, just a printer and the desired material. There is a large range of specialty materials. Now we can use glass, wood, ceramics, plastic to 3D print objects. There is also the environmental impact. Studies have shown that 3D printing can reduce the emissions and greenhouse gases being produced in the world today. When 3D parts are print added to a vehicle, plane, etc. Once one such study showed that a part printed for an airplane saved almost 63% of relevant energy over the course of the product's lifetime. Easily accessible is another great advantage of 3D printing. They have become so readily available in the last decade and the price has decreased significantly. And with the various free software available for use, the introduction of printing into the production cycle could take as little as, little as few days to accomplish. Scalability of 3D printing. You some objects can be built upon one another to create larger objects. The limitations, disadvantages of 3D printing. Naturally, one of the advantages is of the disadvantage, as in the loss of workforce. The use of 3D printing would spell the end of manufacturing jobs worldwide. Limited size, again, this can be either way, as items can be scaled upwards, but only by building onto each other after completion. It is hoped in the future larger printers could naturally print larger structures. Single material, at the moment, it is only possible to print using one material at a time, unable to mix materials, i.e. you cannot mix wood and glass to create an object at the one time. Another major concern of 3D printing will be copyright. The designs or blueprints will become available for the world to see and allowing anyone with a 3D printer to copy and print your product from the comfort of their home and perhaps selling it at a lower rate. Another disadvantage and limitation of 3D printing that may be having an effect on its progression is the 3D printing of dangerous weapons. We've all seen firearms being printed. Now there's also talks of plastic knives and even explosive devices, which are currently being tested by the FBI for their feasibility. Here is a collection of some 3D printed devices. Uh, a 3D printed house by two Russians, less than $10,000 and was created in under 24 hours. As the aforementioned firearm, a pair of sneakers, and a 3D printed heart. Now we aren't, we are not ready near to be printing human organs, 
Boop. There is printed organs such as the heart and brain for surgical training purposes. Implementation in the world today. All of us know that there is this current World Health Organization pandemic referred to as COVID-19. 3D printing has very much been in the news in combating this disease. In Italy, a local hospital ran out of valves for the respirator machines and two 3D printing companies start up in Italy, created a prototype within three hours, tested it in the hospital and it worked. Within 24 hours, they had printed 100 valves for less than a euro per valve. People all around the world are 3D printing personal protective equipment, masks or face shields to help the frontline staff and keep up with demand for PPE in this great time of need. Other designs available are hands-free door handles to avoid touching public doors. Where do we see 3D printing going? This is of course anyone, anyone's guess, but the potential for this technology appears to be limitless. We could be printing our own food or medical devices when needed, or perhaps even printing out our own drone to send out into the world to collect items for us. There is also the possibility that cost effectiveness can remove the need for outsourcing manufacturing to China, Vietnam or other third world Asian countries for cheap labour. The fact that a 3D printed object can be printed local can reduce the need for cheap labour and allowing us to possibly several links to many Asian countries. In theory, just about anything could possibly be printed at home, reducing the need for humans to actually even ever leave home. Not a actual very far concept during this period of isolation. I do believe that 3D printing is the way of the future and especially one of the greatest fascinating ideas is the fact that a 3D printer can print its own parts to make more 3D printers. Basically one 3D printer can turn into a hundred. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the presentation.